Given these circumstances, I believe it is only right to inform your ladyship that these latest baleful events leave me no choice save that of capturing the rebel bandit Sandokan. Rebel bandit Sandokan. A murderer, cutthroat, and footpad to whom you, with the kindness that so distinguishes you, decided to grant the grace, favor, and clemency of the crown. Yes, come in, come in. You're right like a drunken duck. But Lady Caradine will doubtless understand the basic inherent concept. Have it sent to her immediately. Very well, Your Excellency. You look disgustingly, and if I may say so, unfoundedly happy. May I remind you that Sandukan escaped us? I have found something that may very well turn out to be useful, Governor Brooke. I certainly hope so. I need to know where Sandokan and his motley crew are hiding out, and by all that's holy, that information still escapes me. All will be made clear. Now tell me, is this your niece's? Uh, where in the world did you find it? It was lying in the square. Is it hers? Yes, it's hers, no question. She's worn it since she was a tiny toddler, a present from someone very dear to her. Our hope, then, is that they'll come back to retrieve it, if it's so precious. We are just about ready to leave. As soon as we settle Kiltar, I'll get a monkey to tame. That's what I really There's want. There's plenty of time for that. It's a long way to Kiltar. I really feel terribly sad about leaving the island, you know. Especially my tobacco field. Well, Sambirion, you know the old Sumatran saying, he who lives in the past cannot change the future. No, Kabamuri, I don't know it, for the very good reason that you just made it up. Follow Marianne's example. She lost her pearl, but she doesn't moan the way you do about a few scraggly tobacco plants. I do miss my pearl, I admit it. But when we lose something we care very much about, True. its memory is always with us. Rajang would be the quickest route, but it's under British control night and day. We'll go north to avoid them, round Cape Vulture to the Mahakam Delta, then inland through the jungle and reach Kiltar from the east. This is the monsoon season, Sandokan. There'll be storms around Cape Vulture. I know that, but I've thought it over, and as far as I can tell, it's our only chance. It's going to take every ounce of courage we have just to get to Kiltar. Once we're there, the real trouble starts. Are you all prepared to follow me? Well, as far as I know, we're still the Tigers of Montpressem. Of course we are. No one can stop us. We should all get some sleep. We have heavy work ahead of us for the next few days. I know we're Tigers, no one can doubt that. But why do there have to be so darn few of us? You're right, little brother. The same things occurred to me more than once. We are very few. It's a sobering thought. We must have faith. Who knows? Reinforcements may arrive from an unexpected quarter. I do hope my message got through. Look what a lot of flies there are in this bottle, Yanis. A special treat for Paco. Montpressem flies are his favorite. Ship ahoy! Who could it be? I don't know, but whoever it is is going to receive a warm welcome. You won't need your weapons! I've just seen who's at the helm of the ship! Triple Nike! Dharma! <laughs> I can't believe they've come to visit, right in the nick of time, too. I thought they might come in handy, so I called Ada with my thoughts. I always knew I could depend on you, Marianne. Well, has it told you anything? These things take time, Governor Brooke. We need some more light in here. No, daylight is not the solution. I am invoking the light of Kali, don't you understand? Leave that drape alone. Well, why doesn't she show it? Has she forgotten about you? You have nothing left for her. No temple, no thugs, no virgin to sacrifice. I have my torment to dedicate to her, and she appreciates that. The problem is, the girl is very strong-willed. 
But fortunately for us, she is also highly emotional. And when her feelings come to the forefront, her soul will be laid bare, and the Pearl will tell us where she is. Something I've always wondered, Paco. Can chameleons swim? Why is Sam Biglion carrying so much sail? Sea Spider, signal him to reef his jib! What? Sea Spider is signaling. I can't make out what he means. Oh. Get up here quickly, all of you! I'm too scared to move. We're gonna sink, I know it. We will have to abandon ship? for the cliff! Ah! Hurry up! Everyone must move to the stern of the ship! Dharma, I know cats don't like water, but I don't want you to jump into it. I want you to jump the gap. Everything will be fine. Jump! What are you waiting for? <sighs> Dharma! It's an easy jump for you, Dharma! <laughs> My humblest and most profound thanks, great goddess. You have given your servant the means with which to discover... You can thank her later. For now, limit yourself to telling me what you found out. A terrible storm, the vessel wrecked by the waves, and Ada, my high priestess, is aboard. Ada? Who in the world is that? What are you talking about? She is no concern of yours, unbeliever. There seem to be about 20 altogether. Apparently, they have found recruits in India. That makes no difference to me. I have two battalions I can call upon to fight them. And now I believe I know just where they're heading. Kiltar. I'll deploy the troops to the River Delta there. He won't stand a chance of getting past Her Majesty's forces. We'll be back for her soon, Sam Big Leon. We cannot get home without her. Who knows if I will ever see my beloved sea tiger again. I didn't know there was jungle this thick outside of India. Welcome to Borneo, my friend. What in the world? Carnivorous plant. This should do the trick. I hope the little fellow's all right. Uh, uh, if he wasn't before, he must be now after that belch. <laughs> <laughs> what was that? An orangutan. We're trespassing on its territory. Ah, very good, very good. At last, I'm beginning to see some clear images again. Thanks to Dharma. All right, come on, it's time to move on. Excuse me, my lord. What do you want, Quilong? Suyudana sent me to tell you he believes Sandokan is well into the jungle by now. 
You have botched everything up as usual. Our lookouts have seen no sails, therefore Sandokan isn't here yet. Um, what is it now, Guilonk? I just wanted to say I agree with you, sir. I don't think we should listen to that silly old man anymore. What? Since when do you think, Lord Guilonk? Hmm. A man of your importance, Governor, should pay no heed to senile ramblings. Guilonk, you've outdone yourself in your stupidity. I hope for your sake you're coming down with malaria, because if not, you're a hopeless case. Confine yourself to quarters immediately. Do you want to take a rest? Of course not. But what if you're wrong? Kali is never wrong. Every minute we sit here, they get farther and farther into the interior. Which route could he have taken? Rajang's the shortest way to Kilta. Now I know why he always manages to elude you, Lord Brooke. If I'm not wrong, he's left his mark on you as well. Look in the mirror. <sighs> why does he always have to treat me like an idiot? I'm respectful, loyal, brave, trustworthy. Hmm. He tells the world about the murders you've committed. To get your hands on those diamonds. He will be forgiven, even welcomed as a hero. After all, you had his family killed and he saw them die in the blaze. Hmm? Oh! Governor James Brooke, a scoundrel! It cannot be! The honor of England is at stake. I must come to her rescue. I've got another one. Would you Here please take it off me? Try to be patient. Are you aware that leeches are used by European doctors to treat certain pathological conditions? I'll take a tribal shaman any time. Why don't the leeches bother Saint Biglion? Because he has skin that is thicker than a rhinoceros hide. Well, I wish mine was too. Really? Don't worry. We'll be out of this swamp soon and we'll make camp on dry land. Just having a bad dream. So, Yudana, I heard you, Marianne. If you dreamed of him, that means he's in Borneo. Yes, he and Brooke have formed an alliance. I didn't tell you before because I. Yes, I know, because you didn't want to frighten me. But thanks to the two of you, he doesn't scare me anymore. I think he must be trying to get in touch with one of us. That's why you dreamt of him, Marianne. But you don't have to worry. He has no hold over us. You can go back to sleep. <sighs> there was something he was holding in his hand. Excuse me, Governor, I thought it best to inform you that I haven't seen Lord Guilonk in some time. Probably feeling feverish and stopped for a rest. But if he's back there in the jungle all alone, Governor, I wouldn't want him to be in any kind of danger. Lord Guilonk, Corporal, is that noblest of beings a British soldier, therefore more than equal to any danger. Quite right, sir. What does a zook say, Yanis? Is this the only path, or do we have another option? Yes, but it's longer. A good 125 miles longer. In that case, the zook says we should try our luck on this rickety old bridge. Hey, you didn't tell us what color the zook I'll was showing, Yanis! Don't bother, I saw it myself. Zook was a bright, reassuring emerald green. 
Yanitz, you're going to regret that dry sense of humor of yours very soon. Uh, right come now, on, as a matter Marian, of fact. That's not very ladylike. <laughs> Let me consult that map, Brooke. Hmm. There isn't one river with red-colored water in this whole area. There has to be one. I saw them traverse it. Do you dare to question my perception? I'm beginning to think that every word you've spoken up till now has been absolute poppycock. Hmm. Could it be this one? Don't you understand, Suyadana? That area lies on the other side of Kiltar from where we are now. I've got it! They're coming into Kiltar from the east! I see your brain is working again. Is there a way we can cut in front of them? Yes, we should be able to cut them off right about here. Sunset Valley. Well, what are you waiting for, Governor? Hadn't you better summon your minions? Your army should be preparing to march. There are a lot of calves. That means the mothers will be dangerous. Yes, it's better if we climb the cliff instead of passing through the elephants. Everybody be very quiet. We mustn't scare them, Dharma. Well, what have we here? Huh? I don't know how they figured it out, but they're waiting for us. How do we get through? I suggest Soldiers. we leave that decision up to our trusty leader. Just as well we have Dharma with us. Here's my idea. Now! me in cold blood, Sandokan? Not done, you know. Nothing you can say will save your hide. No, I beg of you. But I'd rather see you disgraced and hanged by your sovereign in England. 
sound the retreat before I change my mind. That's not good enough. I want the whole jungle to know you've been defeated. gentlemen. Morning, Morning sir. sir. A very urgent message must be telegraphed to the Queen's emissary, Lady Caradine. I'm ready, sir. Your ladyship, it is with great reluctance that I inform you of some startling new developments here in Borneo. We gave thanks to Jiwata, but I know you're the one who blew up the dam and saved our village, Sandokan. We will celebrate for seven days. <laughs> Our sorcerers have understood that your moment of revenge has come. Yes, it's come at last, but this is only the beginning. 